And I call the member for Bruce. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise to speak up for Mrs Clark of Endeavour Hills after receiving a cry for help from her daughter and her family. She's losing her memory and her mobility, and she's desperately in need of a level four home care package. She applied in October 2017. In April 2018, my aged care claimed not to have received the application. They lost it. So her daughter replied again in May 2018 and was told it would be about 12 months. In December 2018, the family were desperate and they applied for a reassessment, but my aged care said no. There was no immediate risk of entering residential care because your carers are no longer able to provide care. Mrs Clark is now incontinent. She has a heart condition and severe arthritis. And she now, as of last week, cannot stand without assistance. The only help she gets from my aged care is three showers a week from the council. That's it. To the government, Mrs Clark is just a number on a list. Her life is in limbo, her family's life is in limbo, in chaos, while they wait and she deteriorates. Her family now provide her with food. They provide her with transport. And one of the family members somehow stays overnight every night now because they're too scared to leave her alone because she has no other care except three showers a week. They're neglecting their own families. They work full time. They get no other support from the government, no carers payments. They pay their taxes. They expect some care for their frail mum. They're being punished by my aged care now because Mrs Clark is not a priority, perversely because her family are helping so much. So maybe if they stopped helping and left her in her nappies by herself, then the government might care. In July, their daughter Anne, her daughter Anne called my aged care again, desperate, because the family can't do it anymore. She told them that her mother had had two falls. Their response was to say, well, looks like it's going to be at least another 12 months, but we can get you a physio appointment. So Anne had to take the day off work to take her to the physio appointment. Mrs Clark is one of 129,000 Australians waiting at home and the list just gets longer. Mrs Clark's daughter told my aged care her mum may not be alive and she wrote that in the letter to me by the time she gets help and sadly you know she may well be right because 16,000 older Australians have died waiting for the help that they deserve. The government is failing. They've had six years of cruelty, of failure, of cuts. The Prime Minister, when he was Treasurer, cut $1.2 billion from aged care. This is his legacy. It's all politics with this government. Everything's a test for Labor. You want to talk about the quiet Australians? Then how about you do something to help Mrs Clark and the people like her? There's a test for you, government.